The PPF, Production Possibility Frontier, or PPC sometimes it's called, Production Possibility Curve, shows us four things, really important. First thing is the maximum quantities of two goods that an economy can produce, like let's say cars and bikes. It shows us scarcity, which we saw scarcity means it's there's a limited amount of resources like workers, land, machines, so there's only so many cars and bikes that we can produce. And trade-off and opportunity costs are basically the same thing. Trade-off means that in order to make more of one good, you have to make less of another. You have to give up something. And how much do you have to give up? That's called the opportunity cost. So trade-off means you have to give up something. Opportunity cost means how much of that other thing do you have to give up? Let's see this on the diagram. A PPF that is concave or that is also called bowed outwards means that it looks like this. And we have two products, bikes and cars. This is showing us the max amount of bikes and cars that we can make if we were using everything fully efficiently. All of our land, our workers, our machines. What's the maximum amount that we could produce? You need to know three things about inside, outside, or on the PPF. Any point inside the PPF we say is inefficient, meaning we are not using all of our land, our workers, our machinery fully efficiently. Any point outside the PPF we say is unattainable or impossible. With the current amount of workers and machines that we have, we cannot make that many bikes and cars. The PPF is showing us our max, so any point outside we would say is unattainable or impossible. We can't make that much. And then all the points on the PPF are both possible and efficient. So we'd say on the PPF, that's where you want to be. You want to be at any of the efficient points on the PPF. What would allow us to reach that point that was outside the PPF is in two ways. If we got more resources or better resources. So more resources would be something like more immigration. So more workers coming into North America or if there was more oil, more land, anything like that, the whole line would shift to the right. So we could shift the whole line like this to the right. That means we can make more bikes and more cars. Or if there were better resources, so that would be something like better technology or better education. If we have better universities, then the workers can be more productive. If we have better technology, the machines are faster. So that would allow us also to make more bikes and cars. So we have more resources, better resources. And then what would shift the PPF to the left or inward is anything that destroys some of our resources. For example, let's say there's a hurricane or a flood that destroys a bunch of our land, then we cannot make as many bikes or cars. So reduction in resources would shift it to the left. What if I tell you that there is high unemployment? Do you think the PPF would shift left or do you think the PPF would shift right? Actually, that's a trick question. And the answer would be, there is no shift. Because if there is high unemployment, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, unemployment means a lot of people not working. So that means that's a bad thing. But the PPF would not shift inward or left. That's what most students would say. Actually, you would say the PPF will not shift. It's gonna stay the same. If there's high unemployment, we are just being inefficient. We would just be at an inefficient point inside the PPF that would be high unemployment. So the line itself doesn't shift. Like let's say for example that we have 100 workers. Okay, but right now let's say we're only using 40 of those workers. There's high unemployment, so we have 100, that's our PPF. It shows us the max we can produce. But right now we're only using 40 of those workers, so we're being inefficient. We still have 100, so our max didn't change. It's just that we're not there right now, we are inside. So if they say high unemployment, you say no shift in the PPF, we're just at an inefficient point. What will actually shift is if you get more resources, it shifts right, less resources, shift left. But if you're just not using all of your resources, just not using all of your workers with unemployment, there's no shift, it's just an inefficient point. So we can fill out here, there would be no shift. Watch out, unemployment does not shift the PPF, it would only lead to a point inside the PPF, an inefficient point, but no shift which is exactly what we just said. Underneath in the graph below it says, if there is a 
improvement in the technology of making only blank. Well, in this diagram, we can see that it's not shifting, it's just rotating to the right here. So that means we're just making more cars. The number of bikes didn't change on the intercept. So that means there must have been an improvement only in the technology used to make cars. And below that, it's the opposite. Now it's rotating upwards. So that means there must have been an improvement in the technology of making bikes. And it doesn't only have to be technology. That's just one example. It could have also been like there's better education for the bike industry, better training, anything like that that's going to make those workers more productive in the bike industry. It just means that they can make more of that product. The second major thing to know about the PPF is about opportunity cost. So let's say we're going on this graph from point A to point B. As I go from point A to B, how many extra cars am I making? It's just one extra car from two to three cars. How many bikes do I have to give up from point A to B? How many bikes do I have to give up to make that one extra car? The answer would be 100 bikes from 900 to 800. That is called your opportunity cost and then as you go from point B to C how many extra cars are you making from B to C is again one extra car from three to four and now how many bikes do I have to give up from point B to C now I have to give up 300 from 800 to 500 so as you're going to the right is the opportunity cost getting bigger or smaller? As you go to the right, is the opportunity cost getting bigger or smaller? And the answer is it's getting bigger. You see from point A to B, it was only 100 bikes. And then as you go to the right, you see the PPF is getting steeper and steeper. So as it gets steeper, the opportunity cost is getting bigger. So the slope is basically the opportunity cost. When it's a flat slope, it means small opportunity cost. And then as it gets steeper, that means bigger opportunity cost. So we can fill that out underneath. As we go to the right and produce more cars, the opportunity car of cost of making cars gets bigger. And that is also called increasing opportunity cost. So increasing opportunity cost is why the PPF is concave, that shape. It starts off flat and then it gets steeper, steeper, steeper. So main concept to know about PPF is two things. One is the points. Inside is inefficient, outside is unattainable, and on the PPF is efficient. And the second thing is about opportunity cost. As you go to the right, the opportunity cost is getting bigger because the line is getting steeper. Those are the main two things and that's very, very important, very commonly tested. Hey guys, my name is Jess, the head of education here at WISE. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you wanna see the complete course, please check out the link in the description. You can also go to one of our playlists to keep learning for free. If you want us to cover a specific course or a specific topic, please leave us a comment below. We post new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new stuff.